three, two, one, let's go. What's good, family? Today is Wednesday, February 28th. It is another day the Lord has made. This is your brother Adam with the Watchman Adam News Channel. Back with the latest end time news. Now, before we dive into this video, let us say thank you for tuning back in with us today. You guys are awesome and we love you. And if you can give this video a thumbs up, we would greatly appreciate it. And make sure you got that notification bell turned on. That way you'll be notified every time we upload an end times video. Now, while we're an end time news channel, the ultimate mission of our channel is to point you to our creator, the most high God and his son, Jesus. And nothing demonstrates God's love for us more than John 3:16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Family, where would we be without the cross? Think about that for a moment. Now to today's End Times video. Now family, we will start this video a little bit differently. This is something I felt led by the Most High to do. We're going to fill in this blank. I am thankful for blank. Let me go first. I am thankful for my channel family. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my sobriety. I'm thankful that the blood of Jesus set me free. I am thankful that the Most High allows me to do this work for the kingdom. Family, we have so much to be thankful for. In the comment section below, you fill in the blank. I am thankful for blank. Let us know below. Okay, today we're going to be looking at an article from the Jerusalem Post. That was published on February 27th, and it shows the escalating tensions within Israel and her Middle East enemies. Check out this end time headline, October 7th, Part 2, Iran plans for T-E-R-R-O-R -R -R during Ramadan, Israel charges. Okay, so Israeli Defense Minister Yovan Gallant issued a warning to Israel and the world, and he warned that Iran and multiple of Israel's enemies are going to use Ramadan to provoke tensions and inflame the region with another October 7th operation against Israel. Now, according to Gallant, their plan is to provoke Palestinians in the West Bank, Hezbollah, and Arabs and Muslims around the region to turn their rage towards Israel. Using the Temple Mount and tensions in the West Bank as an excuse for October 7th, Part 2. So family, he's warning them, something's coming during Ramadan. Now this year, Ramadan begins on March 10th and it ends on April 9th, the day after the solar eclipse. And one thing that history has shown us is during Ramadan, tensions do tend to escalate, especially at the Temple Mount. So this year with everything else going on in the world, everything going on since October 7th, the tensions are at an all-time high. It's going to be a very sensitive time. And just today, the Times of Israel published this headline right here. Authorities warned of unrest if Muslims barred from Temple Mount on Ramadan. Now guys, we talked about that a few weeks ago, but it's still looking very possible that they could ban Muslims from the Temple Mount during Ramadan. And if that happens, oh boy. Family, if they do this, the enemies of Israel will use this to launch another October 7th event. I do believe that's what Gallant was talking about. We'll keep an eye on this story right here. This is very intriguing. So family, what we have here is this. Israeli Defense Minister Gallant has issued a warning and a statement that Iran, Hezbollah, and other enemies of Israel have plans during Ramadan to escalate the tensions to lead to another October 7th event within Israel. Guys, like I tell you all the time, Israel is being prepared for the time of Jacob's trouble. In the comment section below, I would really love to hear your thoughts on this. Let us know in the comment section below. Guys, I just got this major feeling that during Ramadan, we're going to see some serious clashes go down inside of Israel. That's just my gut feeling. We'll see how it all plays out. It's going to be an interesting two weeks, to say the least. Now, guys, when I see stories like this, it makes me think about Luke 21, 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. 
What things? Things like we were just talking about in this video. We have every reason to look up. It's 11.59 p.m. Wake up and look up. Maranatha. Let's go Arpazzo. Guys, let me close the video by saying this. Jesus was born of a virgin and he lived a sinless perfect 33 years. He gave up his life on the cross so we may live. He laid down his life for us. Was put in the tomb for how long family? Three days, three days, three days. The enemy thought he had defeated Jesus, but the tomb could not hold our Messiah. Death could not hold our Messiah. He, had, he defeated death. He ascended to go be with his father. And on this channel, we do know he's coming back for us soon. If you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, today can be your day of salvation. Believe the gospel of Jesus. The Most High is faithful and just. He will forgive you your sins. And guys, that's facts. Well, once again, let me say thank you for watching. We love you guys so much. Your support means the world to us. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it because it helps us out so much and we do appreciate it. And if it's your first time to our channel, smash that subscribe button and join our channel family. Because you see here on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated and we pray for you guys on a daily basis. And we want to give a special thank you to all our channel members. Thank you for all the love and support. And if you have any prayer requests whatsoever, drop them in the comment section below. No request is too small. No request is too big for our God. And that's also facts. And if you feel led to make a donation to the Watchman Adam news channels, we have ways you can do so. Check the description box below. It's always greatly appreciated if you can. But biggest form of support we can get from you guys is you guys' prayers. Well, guys, the next time, Brother Watchman Adam signing out in three, two, one. I love you and remember, let's go, Arpazzo. Take care, guys, and keep on looking up.